All right, I'm going to do something out of the ordinary here. So we're doing video here. Now, I've seen this happen twice. Here's a uh, horizon. I've been over here in Asia. I've seen some of the tallest mountains in the world, and they've got some tall cumulonimbus cloud or whatever above them. So there, there's our cloud. Now, this is uh, east. This is a panoramic view. So this is west, and this is north. And I've been standing here on the ground, and I've seen this happen. Sun's over here. I can see it. It's really big as it's going down. Now, at noon, I'll look through my Mylar, like your Doritos bag, and the sun seems smaller. You know, you can look at the sun through a Doritos bag. The horizon, it seems bigger. Why is that? No one talks about it. Not really. I mean, if the sun is moving away, it would get smaller when it moves away. It wouldn't seem to get bigger when it moves away. I'm not drawing conclusions. I'm just doing a critical think piece here. Now, I've watched as the sun was setting, I would start to see shadows cover the mountains and I can't see them anymore. The top is pink, purple, you know, sunset pink and purple. And I've watched the shadows start to to go up and and creep up the mountains. And eventually it it creeps up and I can't see the, the lower mountain peaks anymore. I can only see the upper mountain peak. And then eventually that disappears. And then the shadow keeps going up and it it starts to creep up above the tall clouds above it. And eventually I only see the tip of a small cloud and then it completely disappears and the shadow keeps going up. And it's a line. But here's the funny thing. I look north and I can still see the full sun. But the mountains which are way over here on the opposite area, they can't see the sun at all. But I can see both the sun and... And I can see the mountains. But there's a line with a shadow. That doesn't make sense. So I look over to the north and in the haze, I see a shadow that looks like that at the top. And all this down here is a shadow I can see in the sky. Everything above is pink. Everything below is dusk colored. Why do I see a curved line in the north sky from the big fat sun at the horizon to the line in the clouds far in the east? Why? Well, let's take this and redraw all of this on a hollow marble. So here's our hollow marble. And that hollow marble is like Earth's atmosphere. Here's our sun. It's small because it's far away. That light comes straight here. And here's some person standing there. And the light comes down and the sun looks small like he should, right? But you take light and send it up against the top part of a hollow marble, you're going to start to see weird colors and rainbow effects, and it's, it's going to do weird things. And so it's going to look extra big over here when it's setting, and it's going to do all, it's going to bend through that marble weird ways. Maybe it's going to bend this way. You know, I, I, it's, it's going to do weird stuff. And when you're inside looking, it's going to seem weird. Because it's, it's doing hitting round stuff. Nobody talks about this. But there's another thing too. Here's, here's, here's uh, let's, let's redraw our hollow marble here. Let's make it bigger. Here I am standing on the top part of my hollow marble. Light bends through the hollow marble. Now I'm standing over here. And, I, and, I, and there's, my, there's a, a big tall building over here. And, and based on the calculation of how much per inch the Earth really drops, I should not be able to see that building. But I can. In fact, I can see the big, tall mountains that I shouldn't be able to see. That's a pretty tall building, but why can I see them? It's because light is bending. I can't see them forever. They do slowly start to disappear from the bottom up over a horizon, but light is seems to be bending through this hollow marble we're in. Hollow marble. Terrible handwriting. Hollow marble. Rebut it, defend it. Nobody talks about it. Now, one other thing I'm going to say about sunrises and sunsets is I one time watched the sunrise in Chicago. That was the east. That was, get out of the way, that was the west. And I was sitting here, that would be the south. And I went down and I parked myself on the pier. And I watched as the sun rose. I watched light 
start to hit up against the glass of the building behind me and slowly come down, 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 down. This is really irritating. I watched the light come down, 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 down. See, John Hancock was over here as I watched the sunrise in Chicago. And finally, when the, the, the light against the glass came down to where I was, I could see the sun come up. All right. One other thing I want to look at. You know, I see lines. Let's talk about lines. Let's talk about horizons. Here's the Gleason map. This is north. This is uh, Antarctica. The Gleason map. The whole world on a flat disk. And some people say that it's true. And there's uh, my terrible North America and my Alaska. And there's my terrible uh, Africa. And here's Asia. And here's Australia. Here's the issue with the Gleason map. If I'm, people talk about, you know, you get an artificial horizon, which basically has a, has a gyroscope inside spinning this way, spinning in a circle up and down. So you, you, you take off here, you land somewhere else, it's still pointing up and down, right? Well, how about taking a gyroscope and pointing it on a horizontal axis, take that horizontal axis, point it north, and then fly around the other side of the world, well, or straight as, you know. And then you get over there and then you see where it is. Or fly, how about halfway around the world? It should still be pointed this way, not north and south, but now east and west, if the world is flat. Horizontal gyroscope. Nobody talks about it. All right. That's all I had to say about that. Those are my comments on flat earth. These, these, are, these, are, these are questions. We've got the round marble, and, and then you've got, you know, try to, try to try, travel uh, halfway around the world, not all the way to the other side, but, you know, you know travel to Asia with, with, uh, with a horizontal gyroscope and, and see if it still points north or wherever. Try that. What, what about light bending through a glass marble? To Nobody talks about these with the round earth or with the flat earth. And that, that's the issue I have with round earth, flat earth. If anyone wants to come to you and talk to you about it, round earth or flat earth, there you go. I, no, George, I'm not defending this idea or that. I'm just saying that it needs to be talked about. If you're going to have a real careful conclusion about this idea or that idea, you have to look at all of the ideas involved to talk about it. That's just... Well, I... Anyhow, so there you go. Think critically. I'm, I'm going to, you know, I hope that you're having a great week. I hope, I hope that you think critically. Be happy with people. Have real open discussions. Go over to Pacific Daily Times. Listen to the, listen to the uh, comments that I had to make this week about uh, the NFL and about what China is doing. Be a peacemaker. Listen to people. Be reasonable. Let's all calm down. And let's not let whatever bipartisan politicians in office tell us that we're supposed to hate each other. We do. I'm, I'm tired. America is tired of being told that we have to hate each other just because of who's in office. I'm going to get to the point. Perseverance, endurance, persistence, and just not giving up are more than wheel-spinning motivationals. They are specific reasons why some things only happen if we keep going. Burning calories, to name one. Sexy muscle tone, athletic reflexes, instinctive self-defense, and merely good posture are acquired through repetition. The same is true of music, dance, art, programming, carving wood, pottery, knitting, cooking, and even friendship, leadership, and, most importantly of all, servanthood. Almost anything you are trying to get done includes continue somewhere in the instructions. They say time heals many wounds. And that's true. As long as your body keeps going. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com